Hi, this is Gene Bohensky from Real to Real Warehouse, and this is the first video I'm going to cover on the different tape types. Uh, the first video is obviously going to cover what I call Type 1 or standard tapes. These are the tapes that started Real to Real recording. They basically started manufacturing tapes like this with a paper backing in 1948. Scotch had one with a paper backing. Slightly uh, after that, they brought out a tape with. Uh, with acetate backing called the Scotch 111. This is a box of the Scotch 111 tape. This is really the standard tape of all tapes that have been made and is really the reference of standard tapes that people use. Back in the old days, Scotch 111 was used for all types of master tape recordings. It was used to record the famous jazz recordings in New Jersey in the 50s that everyone loves like Miles Davis' Kind of Blue, it was a very famous tape. The second tape that was almost as popular as Scotch at the time were audio tapes. Audio tape was a famous brand back then. These are the standard audio tapes. Uh, that was also very popular back then for professional recorders. Basically, most of the tapes at the time, they were very similar and had a very similar um, formula. There were others that were available by companies like Soundcraft, which was also popular at the time. Another company that was popular was Audio Magnetics. They also did a lot of private label tapes at the time. Later on, the Japanese got in on the game, and one of the most popular tapes for the 60s and the early 70s was the Sony PR-150. These are all standard tapes at the standard bias setting. That means, most likely, if you have a recorder that is biased for one of these tapes, all of these tapes are going to sound the same. A lot of these tapes uh, were made with an acetate backing, and then later on they transferred to the polyester backing. The polyester backing, as you know, has a higher longevity because the acetate gets a little bit uh, wavy and is much more subject to storage issues, which is why we don't really sell acetate tapes as refurbished in our store. We only sell uh, the um, polyester back tapes in our store. Some of the famous um, uh, standard tapes are Ampex tapes, like the Ampex 641 and 541. Those are actually standard tapes. And others are BASF tapes. This is, a, for example, the LGS version of the tape. There's also many BASF tapes that came out uh, with these gray boxes. Many times you see these on eBay. Uh, the, the tape that is really a standard grade is the LP35. Uh, those also come in these gray boxes. Those are very similar to the BASF LGS 35 uh, that were uh, PVC backed. Just one mention, a lot of these tapes are confusing because when people buy them, you don't know what's in the box. So a lot of times they're the old standard tapes from the type one era, and sometimes they're the type three high output tapes. Those we'll talk about in another video. What I wanted to point out is that if you have an older machine, any of these standard tapes will work well because that's what your machine was biased for. If you have a newer machine it built in the mid 70s or, or later, unless you have a bias adjust, those standard tapes are gonna sound dull. Now, I've, sometimes on the forums, uh, you'll see that uh, people refer to some of these older tapes as voice grade. That isn't really true. It's really that uh, some of the manufacturers continue to make those tapes throughout the 70s as voice grade tapes, uh, but really they're just standard tapes, high quality tapes. Some of them are the most long lived tapes, something like the Scotch 150. Those are bulletproof tapes. Those perform today as well as they were made 60 years ago. So you can use these tapes with confidence with your older machine or with your newer machine if you have a bias adjust. Personally, uh, I use a Tascam 3030 in my uh, business, and I have a manual bias adjust. I know you see those on some machines, like the TAG X2000s uh, or the Akai GX77 or 747s. I love these decks with a manual bias adjust because when you put those bias, uh, the knobs all the way to minus, you can actually use these standard tapes and get fantastic fidelity from them at the fast speed with the newer machines. So don't throw those tapes away. You can use them, they're high quality, and I recommend them. And of course, we have many of those that we sell in our store, and we guarantee them with a 90-day money-back guarantee.
Thank you.